Hello again. In this module, we'll be looking at some situations which make hypos harder to spot. These are known as masked hyposymptoms. Hyposymptoms can be masked if you're not feeling your best, and learning the situations that can mask hypos will help you to improve your awareness of low blood glucose. Let's look at some of these situations which can mask hypos. Being ill can mask the signs of a hypo, and your illness might even have the same symptoms as a hypo. For example, if you have a virus and feel run down and tired, it can be easy to attribute this fatigue to the virus when in fact it could be low blood glucose. It's important to test your blood glucose regularly during illness to make sure you don't miss your blood glucose falling. We can all feel tired if we haven't had a good night's sleep, but sometimes this sleepiness may actually be caused by low blood glucose. This could be the case if you've recently started new medication and feel a bit drowsy. Make sure you always test your blood glucose before bed. If your blood glucose is low, it could drop even further when you are asleep. Feeling stressed can make it harder to notice hyposymptoms, particularly if you're distracted or pressured and not looking out for low blood glucose. Additionally, hyposymptoms can be confused for any emotional or physical reactions you have to stress, such as mood changes, sweating or nausea. If you're feeling stressed, distracted or pressured, make sure you test your blood glucose regularly. Sometimes low blood glucose can be mistaken for high blood glucose. This is because some symptoms can be similar and easily confused, such as fatigue, blurred vision, abnormal hunger and nausea. Testing your blood glucose is recommended if you aren't sure whether you may be high or low. Alcohol and exercise can also mask hypo symptoms. We'll look at these in more detail later in the program. Use the hypo record sheet to mark down when you had a hypo and you weren't able to recognise the symptoms. Before we finish, did you know that the medical term for abnormal hunger is polyphagia? If you feel excessively hungry, your blood glucose should be tested to see whether you are high or low. When blood glucose is very high, glucose from the blood cannot enter the cells and the body can't convert the food into energy. This lack of energy causes an increase in hunger. When blood glucose is very low, the cells are deprived of glucose. Normally, the body responds by releasing stored glucose from the liver, but people with diabetes who take glucose-lowering medication need to consume glucose to raise their blood glucose back up to normal. In the next module, we'll discuss how to treat a hypo. I'll see you again soon.